Hey, this is Greg. We're here at JTEC up in Jacksonville. Today I'm going to take you through doing a few common measurements on your diesel engine's turbocharger. These are really important components because in a diesel engine, we like a lot of air and we like it forced in there. So what we're going to do is make sure that this turbo is within spec for service. We're going to measure three things on it. First thing we're going to measure is the axial or the in plate of the turbocharger. Then we're going to measure what we call the radial plate of the turbocharger. And finally, we're going to measure the housing clearance on the turbocharger. So if you come in here, I've got a dial indicator set up here. These are great little tools uh, for getting little bitty measurements. What we're looking at right now is in place. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my hand into the back end of the turbo here, and I'm pushing the whole compressor, axle, and uh, turbine right here back and forth. And what I'm looking for is any movement. And on this dial indicator, I'm seeing about 1,000. So that's 0 .001 of an inch, one one thousandth of an inch play. That's awesome. This thing, you know, it's in great condition for that. What we're gonna do then, next, go ahead and get my housing clearance. Now you use a feeler gauge for your housing clearance. You wanna find the clearance between this compressor wheel and the housing that it is in. So I'm just gonna start out with, you know, a, uh, feeler gauge here now this is 0 0.011 that's 11 thousandths of an inch and I have got just a good bit of resistance going in there so I'm just gonna double check maybe go up to 12 thousandths of an inch on my feeler gauge what we want to do is we want to find the maximum that we can fit in there if I can fit 12 thousandths that means I'm gonna go to 13 thousandths and I'm gonna see if I can fit that next No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so now we know that we've got 11 thousandths of an inch clearance on our turbine housing right here. For our, excuse me, for our compressor housing, for our compressor room. The next measurement that we're gonna do here is we're gonna look for radial play. That's gonna be play in the turbocharger for the shaft going forward and back across this face right here. So I'm gonna take my dial indicator. I'm going to reposition it real quick. I'm going to make it so that we can get right on the tip of this guy and really get a good measurement here. There we go. Now I'm reaching into the back end of the turbo here again. I'm grabbing the uh, turbine. Now I'm gonna move it back and forth. I got a little bit of wiggle here. Looks like we got a 4,000th sweep here in play. So that's .004 of an inch, 4,000th. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna take these measurements you're gonna go look up manufacturer specs for this. It would be a Caterpillar C7. You're gonna check out to see, hey, is that in spec for the turbocharger? Do we need to do some maintenance, maybe replace some bearings, uh, things of that nature, you know? If it does need to be re replaced, you got options. You can do a brand new turbo, which is obviously out of the box, gonna be in spec, or you can do a refurb turbo. Uh, when you get that refurb turbo though, you wanna do these same measurements. You especially wanna do the uh, in play, our very first measurement coming into the oil return line, which is on the bottom of the turbo. So, once again, here at JTAC, show you how to measure one of the most vital components on your engine, the turbocharger. Thanks, I hope you have a good one.